What's going on guys, Waco from Revolution, and I'm incredibly excited to introduce this individual to you. By the time you watch this video, probably he'll be already one of the hottest names in independent watchmaking, and his name is Simon Brett. But the first thing I'm gonna ask Simon, Simon, how are you, sir? Very good, thank uh, you. Is uh, a little bit about his story, because for so many years, uh, collectors have been dreaming about a guy, a new voice in independent watchmaking that would blow our minds with a watch that was beautiful in proportion in its elegance, that brought hand finishing to an altogether new dimension, an almost insane microscopic um, fixation on beautiful details, and to transform pragmatic parts of the watch into real works of art. And I think you've done that all. So Simon, who are you? Were you created by AI? Were you created by ChatGDP? I mean, like, tell me your story, you know? Yeah. So uh, my name is Simon Brett. Uh, I'm an engineer in watchmaking. Uh, I'm French, I come from the middle of France and I moved to study watchmaking, uh, engineer school. And I, um, I start working with Jean-François Mojon. Uh, I develop movement uh, for him and uh, I stay uh, working for him five and a half years uh, where I, I learn a lot about uh, movement. And after that, I, I move for uh, Manufacture Contemporaine du Temps. MCT. I, yeah, MCT. And I developed uh, a watch uh, very quickly. Uh, it was uh, the idea was to come to find a, a new idea or new way to to indicate the time. And I, I developed the dodecal. It was a digital uh, mechanism to indicate the hour. And uh, the, they have problem with the brand, so I moved for MBNF, where I stay uh, three years and a half. And I developed three watches for for them. And uh, after that, I, I move um, to to create my own watch, um, my own company, um, where I, I really want to develop watches. Uh, at the beginning, I, I really want to go back uh, in France to to make uh, to make watch for other brand. And in 2021 June, my daughter was born, and I explained to my customer that I will stop working during two months and during those two months I have a lot of time and when you work for independent watch brand you are always challenged by the time you have to develop new things very quickly uh, incredible things and when you stop working you cannot stop so I was okay what I will do and I take time during the night uh, during the day uh, I'm working on a new movement but I don't really expect that I will make my own watch but it was just like that. I have something in, in my heart because um, it was the, the beginning for me to be a dad. Uh, and I, I was in a special moment in, in my life. And uh, I have to do something to exteriorize <laughs> this moment uh, that I was living. And I, I started creating this, this piece. I start uh, from the blank page, uh, creating this movement. I really want to have very simple watch, but very beautiful, uh, without compromise. I don't want to to be, yeah, stopped by the the price of this finishing or all that. I really want to have the best in this watch. I will start working on the backside. I really want to have something very symmetrical, very perfect, very straight perfectly um, designed and uh, I really want to have another face of uh, myself, something more artistic for, for the, the, the front side, uh, not very symmetrical, but trying to find the perfect lines, uh, which means for, for the backlight, the, the, the backside, uh, backsides my engineer face. Uh, very symmetrical and for the the, the front side the, um, something more artistic not very symmetrical and uh, yeah my dad is craftsman and uh, I have this artistic uh, approach uh, and I am engineer so I, I am I have this other approach so I really want to have those both sides very different but to have it on this watch. This is the, the way I, I developed this, this watch and at the beginning I don't really know what I will do the, with this movement. Will I sell it to other brand or will I, what will I do with? I share the, the, the drawing to friends who are big collectors in watchmaking and, and they tell me okay you have to, to, to make your own watch brand and if you 
do it, we will follow you, we will help you. And um, I have only two or three customers, so I, I have to find on other customers. And uh, the first idea was, okay, uh, you have uh, Instagram, you follow a lot of crazy uh, customers, so you will, you will try to, to do something with the, 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 the guy uh, who you really love in, on Instagram. And, and I text them and explain, okay guys, uh, this is the rendering of my watch. Uh, I'm searching guy enough crazy to follow me. Nobody knows me. I did some stuff in watchmaking, but uh, it will be difficult for you to trust me. But please do, you, will, you won't be disappointed. And uh, that's what happened. Uh, I just teased uh, 20 guys who I chose on Instagram. And um, at the end, 12 guys uh, were enough crazy to, to trust me. <laughs> and we are here with this watch. And um, I, I live a special moment with, uh, when I was working uh, for my uh, last employer. Um, in 2020, uh, I met a uh, craftsman to achieve very special components. And we were in November and I met the, this craftsman who is one of the most incredible craftsmen in, in Switzerland. And he was very sad because he didn't have work since January and we were in November. And he, it was the beginning for him to sell his machine. So he had a daughter and, and it was a very bad moment for me to leave. Uh, that and I, I just uh, explain him I uh, tell him if I do something I, I really want to to help you and support you in your business and um, and I just realized if we lose those incredible craftsmen uh, with those knowledge um, um, yeah the, the Swiss industry will disappear so this is not uh, the, the truth, but uh, if we lose the best craftsman, something will happen bad for, for us in, in Switzerland. And this is the way uh, I, I try to work with this watch. Uh, the idea was, okay, I have this beautiful watch. Uh, I'm so proud about it, but I want, really want to sublime this watch uh, by working with a team of the best craftsmen I, I meet during my career, small career, sorry. But I really want to, to work with those incredible craftsmen. And uh, this is the, um, the reason why I, I really go in that way is I have beautiful, beautiful watch. I have crazy collectors who trust me and um, I have a team of incredible craftsmen who are able to do crazy stuff. And um, the idea is not only to, um, to send them drawing and to achieve what I really want. The idea is to communicate and to think about what is the, the most incredible things that you are able to do. I really want to challenge them to have the most incredible uh, components, the most incredible finishing. And it was just amazing because um, I share with them what I really want. We talk together and we just have to find a solution to achieve this incredible uh, finishing. So it was a long process, but it was just crazy and amazing. And um, this is something that the, the, the customers really like this approach to be the most fair with the, the craftsman uh, because they have to know who achieved those components. They have to know uh, the level of finishing, uh, the, crazy, the crazy idea that I have. So we share every time uh, I go in the process uh, every time I, I share to my customers, I introduce my customers to the, the craftsman, the different idea. And it was just amazing for me to enjoy this journey and to come with this watch because the idea is to communicate about who are those uh, craftsmen. Uh, you have to know uh, this guy, those guys because they are just amazing. And it, it's not normal, the, those guys don't have work. Uh, the watch is... Uh, sold out for the, the tw limited edition of 12 pieces. And I'm so proud because uh, those craftsmen have enough work uh, to, yeah, to enjoy. And they are so proud because this watch is my watch, but they are, it's their watch too. And they are so proud about that. And they can be um, happy because they can show to people uh, what they achieve on this watch. And I'm very proud about that. And uh, they have enough work during one year maybe more, don't know what will happen. So this is beautiful journey for me and I really enjoy the, the moment, yeah.
Amazing. Thank you very much. Congratulations. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> He's good at this. He's, you're very professional. Uh, Simon, you know, I wanted to talk to you. When I look at this watch, um, I see three elements that I find really remarkable. First, um, as a movement engineer, I feel that you've created a contemporary version of the old observatory style calibers that we used to see that Peso used to make, that Zenith used to make. Um, and they used to compete in the observatory trials at Neuchâtel, for example. So you have this very beautiful, massive balance wheel at 12.5 uh, mm in diameter, which is beating at 2.5 hertz, which is this wonderful old uh, school chronometer rate, right? Then you have, in terms of movement architecture, you've got a beautiful three-quarter plate on one side, but then on the other side, you've got these beautiful finger bridges for the, uh, the, the train here. But then I look at the wheels and I'm like, damn, those wheels are remarkable. They're so beautifully finished, including the inner angles of the wheels. And then, wait a second, they're all dent de loup, like a wolf's teeth as well, yeah, which is something yeah. I haven't seen for so long, which are absolutely remarkable. Um, but I want to talk to you maybe first of all about how you and, and the craftsmen that you work with have elevated the normal screw into a complete work of art because I've never seen screws like this before which are concave and then mirror polished so that they, the light disappears when it reflects on it. Tell me about that first of all. The, the craftsman who achieved the screw, uh, remember the first time I met him, I show him the drawing with the incurved surfaces and I ask him, is it possible to achieve it with beautiful mirror polish? And he, he tells me, no, it's not possible. <laughs> and and he come back to me two months after, and he tells me, Simon, I, I have a good, I have good news for you. I found a solution to achieve those screw, but the only thing is, it spent one hour to to achieve and this level of finishing. But this is just amazing, and I'm so proud to achieve this <laughs> component. So this is crazy to 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 talk about one hour for one screw, but the level is just insane uh, and I am so proud to show you this guy who is able to, to have this incredible level of finishing and, and yeah, he worked so hard to find the, the, the way to achieve it and, uh, and this is something what we, what we love in watchmaking is we do everything but it's possible to find new way to, to, to enjoy a uh, piece of art so I'm very happy with that. It's insane. I mean, like when you take a close look at these screws, so you know, I really want everyone that has the opportunity to look up close at the, at the video we're going to be shooting of these because you're going to see that the heads of the screws are bassine, <laughs> like, but, but aggressively concave, right? And so how, you know, black polish usually works by because you're rubbing it against a flat surface, how you manage to polish this curved cervix where yeah. it's at a radius is completely insane. But that's just not the only element. You know, on top of that, you've got these incredible barrel covers and steel that are mirror polished and stepped and also bassine as well. Yeah. You've got this beautiful grade five titanium bridge for the balance wheel and also the finger bridges here are also grade five titanium yeah. as well. And titanium is also notoriously difficult to polish. Yeah. And to polish it, you know, curved as well at a radius is nuts. I mean, you must have developed so many new technologies in order to be able to execute this level of finish. Yeah, so it was a big challenge for uh, the craftsman who achieved it. He is Nathalie Jean-Louis. And we talk together and she tells me, you know what, I love to be challenged and we will arrive to have incredible finishing on it and let me work on it. And, and I, we will see what, what happens, if it's possible. And she come back and we are so proud and happy uh, about the result. So this is a big discuss together. And I ask her, we ha I have to challenge you. Um, I just want to, you to achieve something incredible to, to people understand who you are, really who you are. And this is what happened. That's incredible. What, what is the name of the individual? Uh, Nathalie Jean-Louis. And she's doing the bridges? Yeah. The, the finishing, yeah. So you're do, using one individual for the bridges and another person for the screws, is that correct? Exactly. So ha hang on a second, so is your philosophy to find the best person at each of the different yeah. components and allow them to express themselves with those components? Yeah, this is the, the idea. I really want to have the best craftsman for any pieces because, you know, they are experts, so they are, they are uh, close to 15 people wow. who, yeah, one will uh, do the finishing on the case, one will finish the, the screw, one will finish the, 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 the wheels, um, yeah, the pinion. So, they are, yeah, when you develop your, your watch, you really want to have the best and to have the best, you have to find the, the best guy who will achieve it. So, this is, I think, um, the most difficult thing is, is to find the, the good person to achieve um, those 
all those components. So I'm very proud about that to, to find those incredible guys. That's incredible. So these are artisans that were in some ways, uh, especially during the outbreak of COVID, struggling to find work. And because of this project, they all now have enough work to, to continue in the future. And these 15 people each represent someone that specializes in finishing a specific type of component. Yeah. That's insane, dude. That's that's yeah. so cool. And, and yeah. uh, what I'm very proud about is is the, um, at the end, uh, it will deliver, deliver with the passport. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, every craftsman will appear on this passport and what they achieve on the watch. So this is something I really want to, to, to be clear with the customers and they have to know who are behind it. It makes me happy to, to show people who they are. So you know, Simon, tell me a little bit about the design of the watch. Yeah, so the design, uh, as I explained to you, uh, from the beginning I start with the movement, with those screw in curved, and um, these surfaces in curved are, are not often used in watchmaking because it's very difficult to, to finish, to have perfect polish on it. So I really want to keep these uh, in curved surfaces uh, on the case. I was helped by um, Mathieu Allegre to design the, the case. So the idea was, okay, I really want to keep this in-curved surface uh, all around the crown. So you will have to find a solution to, to put it on the case. And when I designed the, 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 the case, my, I was, it was a bit uh, obsession, obsessional. Um, uh, when I developed this watch, this case, I don't want to have screw who appear on this case <laughs> because I really want to have um, the most biggest window uh, on the back open to, to, to see the, this beautiful movement. And yeah, this is something that I'm very proud about. Uh, at the opposite of, of the crown, um, I really want to have this um, key, uh, red, uh, red gold key at the opposite of the crown. And um, this is the, the link that I have with uh, the, the craftsmanship because my dad is craftsman and uh, is carpenter and he often used this key to assembly components, wood, mm. wood components. For the moment, for this watch, it's not uh, functional, it's, it's just aesthetic. But I really want to, to put on this case the link uh, with my dad with craftsman. And uh, today, if I want to, to help those craftsmen, is because yeah, my daddy is craftsman and I live uh, with this um, idea of um, craftsmanship and I really want to, to, to help them and it makes sense for me to, to achieve this piece, to, to have this watch and to have this remember to my dad. Amazing. Tell me a little bit about this uh, this dial. It's gold, it's or massif, and yeah. it looks like it's been like hand engraved or hand hammered. I mean, yeah. what is this surface that we're looking at? I, I met Yasmina Antti uh, a few years ago and uh, we talked together about different finishing for, for the engraving. And uh, I asked her, do you have in mind something that you never take time to achieve? Do you have any idea of what would be great to, to put in my, in my watch? And she explained me that she have something in mind, but never take time to, to achieve. So this is what happened. She come back to me and tells me, okay, it's possible for me to, to achieve this um, engraving. And what do you think about? And I was blow, blow away uh, with this incredible level of engraving. So this is something new uh, and, and I'm very happy uh, to have uh, Yasmina uh, in this uh, team of craftsmen. It's stunning. I mean, the way she's done it with the reflection uh, of light over all the multiple like surfaces, it almost looks like a micro mosaic, you know? It's yeah. absolutely stunning. Okay, the last question I want to talk to you about is uh, because it is a chronometer after all, right? So it's a stop second watch or a hacking seconds. Yeah. And it's got this really cool um, S-shaped break that comes out and touches the balance wheel. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, it comes uh, at the end of the, um, the design, the conception of the watch because uh, I have an incredible team of customers and they helped me a lot uh, during the um, design of the, the dial. And one of them ex tells me, why don't you have um, a second hacker? Uh, and I was, okay, I have to find a solution. It's not too late. I have to find a solution to make something crazy and very beautiful. And that's what happened. I find this curve like an S uh, who move like a spring uh, and come radially to, to stop the balance wheel. 
yeah, it go, it comes at the hands, and I have to find a solution to to make something it's phenomenal. Crazy, yeah. You know, everywhere I look in this watch, there's just so much beauty. Like just the U-shaped bridge you have on one side holding the escapement wheel and the other side holding the lever, is that alone is a work of art, right? And the way it's been polished is incredible. Then I look at this um, bridge that's retaining uh, the resetting mechanism as well. And the internal angle that you have on that, just on the upper, on the right-hand side, is first of all, completely unnecessary. And second of all, so beautiful and so hard to achieve. I mean, this watch is incredible. So Simon, I gotta ask you a question. Uh, you said that you are sold out in the first subscription edition. How many watches is that? It's 12, 12 watches living, yeah, 12 in zirconium. Watches. Yeah. So those are gone. Uh, and I know some of the people who have purchased that watch, so I congratulate you on all, obviously having some of the best clients in the world from many different generations, which I also yeah, really like yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, so then the second um, series will be next year, then I take it, and that will be in titanium, yeah. correct? So how you, will you go about allocating those watches? I'm sure that's what everyone out there is wanting to know. Today, I already have sell um, many pieces of the series, so I will keep um, the way, uh, and I really want to keep it, um, I don't want to do too much pieces per year, so right. it's limited in production, only 12 will be done per, per year. Right. And uh, I will produce less than 100 pieces uh, in total. So that's the, um, that's the idea, and for sure uh, if people are interested, have interest for the, the series, just try to contact me to, to have uh, an allocation. Well, it's very kind of you and very democratic of you. Simon, uh, this is one of the watches I'm most excited about. Honestly, it's an absolutely stunning watch. 39 mm in terms of diameter, 10.5 in terms of thickness, so it's so wearable. Um, it's as if you reached into the collective consciousness of the collectors around the world and extracted from them the perfect watch. And, and this really is a perfect watch, so bravo. Thank you so much. Um, and if Justine wasn't wearing my AP, I'd be running for the door right now. So, <laughs> well done, bravo. I might still run anyway. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Peace. Thank you. All right.